Welcome to the presentation of AngularJS. In this presentation, we will learn what is AngularJS, why we can use AngularJS, what's the main difference between AngularJS 1 and AngularJS 2. So friends, let's get started. What is AngularJS? Now, basically, it's a JavaScript framework. It's not a library which we are using like before we were using the JavaScript as a library, but now it is a fully fleshed framework. It was uh, originally developed by Misco heavily and uh, now it is overtake by Google. To make single page application, this is a very important point. How we can make a single page application means we are making different website is a collection of web pages and uh, similarly like web application as well. But we make web applications where the uh, the URL get changes but the page remains same with the help of router which we will cover when we will proceed to next slides and it is too fast because uh, we have many authentication and uh, all the logics on the client side so we rarely connect to the server and uh, we get uh, too many connections with the server so it is too fast it works on MVC pattern client side it means it works on the MVC. MVC means as we know that model view and controller where view is for the client and uh, controller is to uh, manage the view and model and it is uh, uh, it is super heroic JavaScript MVW framework. Now friends what is MVW? We know about MVC but MVW means model view whatever so uh, it is uh, good for whatever you want to W stands for that so we have some other type of frameworks also like uh, model view view controller like this so it work for everyone data modules in angular are pojo uh, it is for we will cover this in dependency injection and uh, how we can write less code we will discuss so all uh, unit testing also we will discuss in the next slide why angular js now friends uh, uh, we have uh, several programming languages so why we have to use this what's new in this the main benefits are it is compatible with all the current uh, top programming languages like java.net php node.js spring etc Simplicity, it is very, you will declare the ng tag which is for the bootstrapping in the starting and uh, you will call uh, the framework library and uh, you will write the plain HTML code with the ng tags and you will get the functionality automatically. Syntaxes are easy and uh, if many developers are working on different different modules so they can merge all the modules uh, in a single a web application very easily and uh, the next point is use angular js in ionic sdk we can also use angular js to build the android and iphone application which will be on hybrid we, for the native application in android studio we cannot use angular js and uh, the another main point is uh, we can uh, connect angular js with the rest api and uh, uh, dream factory is a service provided by angular js which will give response in json with the help of rest api so it is compatible language it is too fast so if we uh, do not connect server for every functionality so definitely it will be fast and it is single page with the help of router how it is we will cover this in the next slide now the next is best front-end framework from last six years so friends uh, uh, there is nothing to explain about this point it is a language provided by google so definitely it will have uh, the special functionalities angular js 1 or angular js 2 which we can prefer so angular js2 is simpler than angular js1 why because we use typescript feature what, what is typescript it is a superset of javascript in this we have to write very less and in a very easy syntaxes and what it do is it convert 
Angular JS2 have a compiler which convert TypeScript to JavaScript and uh, JavaScript is supportable for the browser so it will work perfectly just TypeScript is for the users so they can type fast and they can uh, they can save a lot of time by writing the JavaScript method overloading is supported by this and uh, easy syntax converted to JS automatically the same which we have discussed when we will write in TypeScript it will be automatically convert to JavaScript no two way data binding it uh, in angular JS 1 we use data binding so in angular JS 2 we will not use that improved dependency injection dependency injection is uh, to add the external module in your program and to add the functionality which is pre-prepared no controller in AngularJS 2 we will not get the controller and but we will have a component in which we will code for JS and view and uh, download uncompressed version to find bugs easily it means when you will visit uh, the angular a website official website you will get two version to download one one will be in the compressed form and the other will, will be in uncompressed form so prefer uncompressed one because uh, in that if you will do the debugging on the browser so you will get the errors so this is the basic reason i mentioned this point now the next is uh, benefits of AngularJS these all are the benefits which we will cover one by one so the first is single page application it may we can make single page application by using the AngularJS in which we will write the static code of HTML by using the tags of HTML sorry the AngularJS like ng app which we will declare in the uh, head section or the body section which will cover the whole a web application code with these tags uh, and the library of the JavaScript now what we do before uh, we uh, for making any application we request to server server respond back to client and this situation make website slow this is the main reason which we already know if we will connect to server again and again so the reply will come uh, a bit later and the application will become slow but here uh, in angular js you write all the logics uh, to client end and uh, you really need to connect to server to get some important data otherwise you do all validation all the logics on the client side so it is very really fast two-way data mining means when you will change the view the controller code will automatically get changed so it uh, save a lot of time now the dependency injection dependency injection is the prepared code uh, and the functionalities which we inject in the code as uh, here we can see dollar scope is uh, the dependency injection and uh, we will get the functionality automatically the next is uh, this is the jquery example it is quite interesting when you write the jquery code then this is the html and this is the javascript how lengthy it is but when you write the same thing in angular js so you are writing that javascript in just two lines so it's quite shocking now coming to the next easy unit testing it means uh, uh, you can test uh, your web application very easily with the help of fake server responses now next is the directives it is uh, the same ng tag which we declare at the top of html to get the benefits of the framework of angular js and uh, the data binding data binding is uh, uh, data mining means here is name but name will come from another file it could be anything so this is the data mining we will cover this uh, concept in the expression which i have in the further slide filters filters are uh, to suppose uh, you are writing uh, many tables in lower cases and you want a, now you want a filter to uh, change all the name 
with the first letter with upper case or date like filter we have many filters so we can execute the filters with very small code in angular js now the expressions expressions means uh, when we write something like this in html so we get the output like this as it is but in the expression in angular js if you write 3 plus 3 you will get the output 6 now these are the top companies who are using uh, angular js paytm youtube google yahoo and many more angular routes it is also an important point angular routes means suppose we have a application when we change the page so the header footer sidebar nothing will change only whatever the essential changes will come as a as like a pop-up on the java application so it is it because of this the application will become too fast because it do not load the same code again and uh, you do not need to refresh the page also when you will change the URL. Now this is the simple application code. You can copy and paste or you can leave your email address if you want to make a demo application. So this file will be essential uh, to execute the Android JS application, your first application. Thank you for listening and uh, have a good day.